design elements should I look for when designing a sympathetic addition for my historic home? You want to make sure that you don't do anything that can't be reversed. So the Secretary of Interior, which guides most historic projects, says that you don't want to do anything that can't be undone. That's that's generally how I explain it to, to people. So you want to make sure it's compatible, uh, but you also want to make sure that it's it can be differentiated so people won't look at it and say, that's uh, that's part of the original house or that's older than the original house. You want to be able to make sure that people know that it is an addition and that it's new. Um, you want to make sure it's smaller in both like the size of it and lower than the roof. And you want to put it either in the rear or on a non-street side um, uh, elevation of the building.